In this instructional video, we will show PET students how to use stranded J-type thermocouples in the LabVIEW software to acquire temperature data ranging from 40 to 950 degrees Fahrenheit. Only PET students that have been given special permission or are working on projects acquiring this equipment will have access to it. All necessary equipment is located on a cart in the storage room of the PET lab. When working with high temperature objects, wear insulated gloves to avoid burns, always wear safety glasses, do not get water on any part of the system if you are working with fluids, and thermocouple components are delicate and should be handled with care. Insulated gloves can be found in a drawer in the PET processing lab. Ensure that there are three cords plugged into the power strip and that the power strip is plugged into a wall outlet. Turn on the Dell Optiplex 745 computer. Thermocouples are located on the side of the cart. Arrange the thermocouples however desired for the process being studied. It is important to note that the temperature that is read through the system is the temperature of whatever the welded thermocouple tip comes in contact with. If the study intends to measure temperatures on the surface of a hard material, the welded tip must be touching the surface of the material and not raised above it. On the desktop, navigate to the lab view icon labeled as T couple DAQ and double click on the icon. This will bring up the configured front panel window. The front panel displays any controls that have been constructed in the block diagram. Here is the waveform chart. Here is waveform chart 2. Here are the stop controls. And here are the numerical indicators. To bring up the block diagram window, go to Window, Show Block Diagram. The block diagram shows each indicator control and its wiring. To bring up the tools palette, go to View Tools Palette. On this panel, different tools can be selected for wiring, selection, operator values, and text. Make sure the arrow is highlighted. All other tools are for building a virtual instrument, which is not covered in this video. Next, confirm that each DAQ assistant is set up properly before running the program. Double click on the DAQ assistant icon in blue to initialize the assistant program. Under the configuration tab, select temperature 0, hold down the shift key, then select temperature 12 to highlight each channel in blue. From here, ensure that the acquisition mode is set to continuous samples, Samples to read is set to 1, and rate is set to 1. Under the settings subtab, ensure that signal input range max is set to 1K, and that min is set to 0. Scaled units is to be set to degrees Fahrenheit, and thermocouple type is set to J. Pull down the drop down screen so that all channels can be read, and select run to test each channel. Each channel number has a corresponding thermocouple. In the lower right hand corner, select OK. This is how the DAQ Assistant Control Panel should look before finishing this step. LabVIEW is now building the VI. Now that the VI has been built, select the Run icon in the front panel window. Data is now being acquired and can be seen in the waveform chart and the numerical indicators, which display values for each respective channel. To stop the data acquisition, select Abort Execution of T Couple DAQ or either Stop 1 or Stop 2. 
To export the data acquired, right-click on the waveform chart and select Export. If collecting data from both modules, make sure to export the data from both waveform charts. Ensure that the file is saved as an Excel workbook file. Clear the waveform chart of its data by right-clicking the chart and selecting Data Operations Clear Chart. From here, the program can either be closed out simply by exiting the window by selecting the red X, or more data can be acquired for further studies. You have now successfully acquired temperature data.